For 4,000 years, aloe vera has been known for its therapeutic and healing properties and is widely recognized as the plant that helps alleviate minor burns. AloeMaster.com picks the best aloe leaves and produces the most potent aloe vera concentrated juices and freeze-dried capsules you can find. AloeMaster.com offers products with 10 times the potency of ordinary aloe products, enhancing the benefits of this ancient cleansing plant. Turn over a new leaf and visit us today at AloeMaster.com. That's A. A-L-O-E master.com or call us at 1-800-934-ALO. That's 1-800-934-2563 today. Okay, we are back live here. I'm going to take some of the calls that are patiently holding coming up uh, in the first 30 minutes of the next hour. And then Dr. Blaylock will be joining us. We're going to try something new tomorrow at PrisonPlanet.tv. We're going to go live at noon central with our regular guest, uh, Mike Rivero, and he's going to be live on a video cam feed with us on the show. We're going to have a lot of our guests who do have uh, video cams uh, with us here on the show in the future, adding more and more. We're going to add a document cam in here. I'm also going to add a little tablet where I can write on documents and things on screen, kind of like Joe Madden with football, but... With uh, I can put up the Gaza Strip map and go over it, things of that nature. So that's all coming up here as we integrate uh, the radio show with the PrisonPlanet.tv audience as we develop the show for uh, putting it on uh, cable. We're satellite working on both right now and building another full TV studio out here. But uh, continuing here, at the end of this excellent article that's all meticulously sourced, most of it right out of the Israeli and U.S. newspapers, uh, it ends with the mass expulsion could occur at some later state of the ground invasion where the Israelis to open up Gaza borders to allow for an exodus of the population. Expulsion was referred to by Ariel Sharon as the 1948 style solution. For Sharon, it is only necessary to find another state for the Palestinians. Jordan is Palestine was the phrase that Sharon coined. So put that map back up there if you can of the Gaza Strip for folks. Uh, Again, they're in bordering southern Israel to the east, uh, Egypt to the south, and the Mediterranean Sea uh, to its west. That's uh, the other map. They are they are completely surrounded. They are completely uh, surrounded, and. They are under total siege. And if you look on the map, you see Gaza City, the largest, with around 800,000 of the population. Then the other 700,000 are in some of the central cities and the southern cities. And what the Israeli military has done is they've encircled Gaza City. They've got gunboats and naval forces all along its border with the Mediterranean. Again, down here to the south, you have Egypt that the Gaza Strip formerly belonged to. And simply put, the Ottoman Empire for hundreds of years controlled much of the Middle East and, of course, Israel. And then when they fell after World War I, the British came in and filled the vacuum. And the Rothschilds uh, owned and controlled, since their scam they ran in 1815, buying up the stock market, claiming that Napoleon had won the Battle of Waterloo. Uh, they were able to finance uh, folks in Israel actually attacking British forces. And after the British were kicked out, what is the 1948 option? Israel declares sovereignty in 47, and then begins bombing, shooting, killing uh, Arabs that were living there, Palestinians, and pushing them out. That's the expulsion model. So you have Israel, and that's why you had the Arabs who'd been there for thousands of years, and back in the time when it was Judea who lived in peace, with the uh, Jews. In fact, it'd be the Arabs and the Jews generally fighting with the uh, Romans and the Babylonians and others. And it, it, it hadn't been Israel since 70 AD when Titus went in and did what Israel's doing to the Palestinians. Put the map back up right here. I want to show people something. Zoom in on this. And I want to point it out here on my screen. Let's uh, cut to camera two, and I want to show people here on the screen myself. Um, notice that with the pincer attack, the Israeli troops came in and circled Gaza City and encircled the other towns and have surrounded it. What did Titus do? Well, Titus over in Jerusalem 
did the same thing 1,938 years ago. He went in, he encircled Jerusalem, waited until they basically starved to death, and went in and burned the place down. So this is just total siege, ladies and gentlemen. And Israel's doing what was done to them by the Romans 1,900 plus years ago to the Gazans. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his M.O. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijackers' ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at InfoWars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, I want to get into the economy, all the new taxes they're setting up, how they've got this supposed right-wing gatekeeper, or Judas Goat, the, the local viceroy over Christian conservatives, here in the United States, Pat Robertson, if you thought him saying China was good to have forced abortion, that he loved their their Planned Parenthood program, that he needed to be more aggressive, uh, then you're going to love the new stuff he's saying. He is uh, almost trumping Pastor Hagee saying Jesus isn't the Messiah. Whether you're Christian or not, that's pretty asinine to have a supposed Christian leader saying that. Uh, he is now out saying that socialism will basically save the United States and that Obama cannot be stopped and that Obama's a great guy and uh, that socialism will ease our pain. So just uh, amazing thing that's happening there. That is coming up. Finishing up with the horrible carnage in Gaza. This is tribal warfare, and both sides have done terrible things to each other. There's no doubting that. And, uh, you know, Israel can say they have a claim on that uh, from their point of view, but the Arabs have an even stronger claim. And, 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 and my whole issue here is Mexico did control Texas parts of Louisiana, and then all the way to California. Before that, it was the Spanish Empire. Now, um, it's taught in Mexico that the Southwest belongs to Mexico and will be reconquered. And the billboards are put up, and Spanish-speaking TV and radio says that constantly, and it's it's pushed. Uh, do we want to get into a situation with the United Nations uh, where the group that previously had control of this area uh, is now saying it's theirs? And usually when I hear that analogy, it's an example of the Palestinians uh, previously having control, and then now Israel taking it over in the 1940s. But really, if you go back, we have uh, people from all over Europe immigrating there, some of them Jews, some of them not, saying that because they were there 1,938 years ago, uh, that it belongs to Israel. I mean, the Arabs were always there. They're there now. They have their mosque, their religious centers there. You know, there wouldn't be such a big deal if this was, say, part of southern Syria or part of uh, Jordan. I mean, it would be bad enough if Israel went and took that, but that's just some desert or some mountains. This is the Holy Land. This is where the Crusades happened. This is where the Muslims and the Christians fought before that. The Jews and the Romans fought I mean, this is an area that people have always been fighting over. What I don't like is the United States being sucked into the middle of it and the United States funding, on average, $30,000. That's an accurate number. A caller mentioned earlier, per citizen of Israel. I mean, I'm against foreign aid to anybody. And uh, as Ron Paul has said, uh, and, and then the larger issue here domestically is that the media is lying and saying that Hamas broke the 
ceasefire when the ceasefire deal was is that the border entrances would be open to Israel at the checkpoints. You go through a checkpoint. Those are just completely shut down for people to get jobs in Israel.